Hey guys, welcome to my five week bump date. Yes, I'm gonna do bump dates every week, just like my last pregnancy, which if you wanna go see those, you can go back to my old videos, which are pretty old now, and you can compare them. But yes, this is my five week bump date with baby number two. I like doing these bump dates because I like to go back on them and compare pregnancies and just see what I was experiencing at the time. So here we go. So it's pretty interesting to compare this pregnancy to the last pregnancy. I did go back and I watched my five week bump date from my first pregnancy with Grayson and I did find some differences. Um, this pregnancy I'm experiencing a lot of acne. My face is breaking out a lot and it has been for a while. Um, and so it's just mostly on my face. I don't really notice acne anywhere else. Um, but I didn't mention that in my last pregnancy, so maybe that wasn't an issue. I feel like I'm more nauseous. My nausea has come on quicker this time than last time. So basically the day before I took a pregnancy test and got a positive, I was already feeling nauseous. And that feeling just hasn't gone away. It's there constantly. If I eat, it will go away for like maybe a half hour or so and then it'll just come back um, which makes me want to like eat all the time but then not like I want to eat because I want the feeling to go away but I don't want to eat because I'm nauseous and nothing sounds good and I also don't want to eat too much and get like gain too much weight so it's hard but I was experiencing nausea in my first pregnancy I experienced it all the way till the end of the first trimester but I don't think it started this early so I'm not sure if it's like I mean, every pregnancy is different, I know that, so that's just what I'm experiencing right now. I'm tired, but I'm not as exhausted as I thought I was going to be, so I'm sure it's coming where I'll get, like, even more exhausted than what I am, but for now, like, I'm more exhausted than what I used to be, but it's not, like, crippling, like, I have to take naps during the day, so it's not that bad yet. I'm moody, very emotional, I have high highs and low lows and my emotions can change on the spot. Um, ask Anthony and he'll tell you that. Uh, I noticed it that I was being really emotional like days before I even took a pregnancy test so I thought that was kind of weird but I was like maybe I'm just, I was, I was like maybe it's just like PMS symptoms so, but I was realizing that I was being moody and it's like sometimes I can realize that I am being like moody and like very mean and it's like I can tell myself that I'm doing that, but it's like I can't snap myself out of it. So I just have to just keep my mouth shut <laughs> so I don't get myself into more in trouble. But yeah, so I have been noticing that um, I feel like with this pregnancy, I have a little bit of like guilt lately. And it's because I just feel like I'm, this pregnancy, I was more prepared for it. I was already taking prenatal vitamins when we decided to start trying. You know, I was prepared for the positive pregnancy test. I've taken it upon myself um, in the new year, it's January 8th today, I've taken upon myself in the new year to um, have a better diet, I've been having salads um, for lunch every day and carrots for snacks and healthy granola bars and you know just a lot of trying to get like good nutrients into me and I feel like last pregnancy with Grayson I kind of just, that kind of took a backseat and I like had good intentions but I never followed through with it. So I feel like I'm kind of feeling like like guilty, like I'm putting so much more effort into this pregnancy than Grayson's. Like in Grayson's, like we didn't plan to get pregnant, it just happened. So I wasn't taking prenatal vitamins and until I got the positive pregnancy test at like five weeks. And so I missed out on all that good stuff. I mean, he turned out fine, but I, I just feel bad. Like this one is planned for and so like there's more going right with it, if that makes sense. I also, with this pregnancy, I just feel more like open about it. I feel like with, with my last pregnancy, I didn't want to tell anybody until like after my first doctor's appointment and definitely not until I was after out of my first trimester and like I was very like um, secretive about things. Like I didn't even tell my closest friends like when I was being induced with him in the end because I was just like, I don't know, I just didn't want that pressure or something. And this pregnancy, I feel like much more relaxed about it. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. So like I'm, I'm planning to tell um, my parents like next week and we have our first doctor's appointment scheduled but it's not till the end of this month. So that's already changing. I want to tell my siblings as soon as possible. 
Um, and then when it go comes to social media and telling everybody and like all of you guys on YouTube, I am planning to do it on Valentine's Day, which puts me at 10 weeks instead of 12 weeks. So it's like not that much of a difference, but like if it was my last pregnancy, I would have been like, no way. So I feel like I'm just very much like calmer this pregnancy and just kind of like, you know what, like if something bad happens, I'd rather have people know. I don't want to be secretive about it. So yeah, that's a difference. The baby is the size of a sesame seed, I believe, or an apple seed. I mean, there's a million. I really like this one app. Um, I think it's Ovia, the Ovia pregnancy app, and you can like change it to different things. So like it said that baby is the size of like a dot snail or something, or it's the size of a pinball, like in a pinball machine. So those are really cool. Like I feel like I can relate to that a little bit more. So um, that's fun to see. Um, the heart is supposed to start beating. It already has or it's going to this week and it's starting to like form more of a baby. Um, it's got a tail and the eyes are starting to form and the organs are starting to form. So baby is doing a lot in there right now. Uh, like I said before, I did make my first uh, doctor's appointment. Um, it's at the end of this month on the 28th of January and it's just, you know, an initial uh, appointment. They're gonna get my weight and I'm sure I'm gonna have to pee in a cup, which is so looking forward to that and that. And they're gonna take a bunch of blood and um, hopefully an ultrasound. They did that with my last pregnancy for my first appointment, so I don't see why they would change that because um, I'm sure they're gonna wanna date it and I want that picture. So I'm super excited for that. Anthony's gonna take a half day and come with me on that. Like I was saying earlier, I'm not sure if I wanna bring Grayson along to that appointment or if I want to try to get a babysitter for him. So we'll see what I plan, what I plan on doing. Um, I'll try to record the ultrasound. I don't know if they'll let me or not, but I'll see. I just feel like bloated. Like obviously like there's no pregnancy bump because the baby's like uber small, but it's just like bloat that I'm experiencing right now. But yeah, so there's really not that much um, to tell you guys about. I guess I could tell you about the pregnancy test. So obviously we have been trying to get pregnant. We've been trying since October and it's January now so it really hasn't taken us that long. Um, Anthony finally told me that we can start trying for another baby the day Grayson turned 18 months. So I was super excited because I've been pestering about it for months. Um, and so I got off birth control and we've been trying and then I was on vacation in Florida and so I wasn't able to test when as early as I would have liked to. And so I had to wait until we got back. Um, and then uh, the morning, Sunday morning, I went and took a test. And it was one of the pink ones, the first response ones. And um, I, of course, like as soon as I, as it started, you know, you pee on it and then the line just starts going. And so I, as soon as it started going, like I was just watching it. And I swear for like the first minute, like nothing showed up. And I was like, this is not gonna happen, it's just not for me this month, I'm gonna have to try again, and I was super bummed because next month Anthony's going on, well, technically this month, Anthony's going on a business trip to Japan, and it is, it is over the time that I would have been most fertile, according to my pregnancy app, so I was like super bummed about it, so I like walked away for a couple, for like a minute, and then I came back to it, and all of a sudden there was a line there, and um, I kept watching it, and then yeah, there was a line and so then I waited the next day and I took a blue digital test where it says like pregnant or not pregnant came up right away pregnant um, and then the day after that I took another pink one just to be sure and yes there was a line and it was a little bit darker so it's super exciting I wonder if I'm not as far along as I think I am though because the line was pretty light when I tested and I tested like the day that I missed my period or something, or the day after, I don't know. So I just thought the line would be darker, but hey, there's a line there, so it was super exciting, um, and I was super pumped about it, and then I uh, wanted to tell Anthony, and uh, I, um, I have a vlog about it, but yeah, I put a bun in the oven, and I told Anthony to get my lunch out of the oven while he's in the kitchen trying to be like nonchalant so he wouldn't know anything's up and when he opened it he was like why is there a bun like why is there and I didn't have any like bun buns I only had like hamburger buns so I just put a hamburger bun in there and he was like why is there a hamburger bun in the oven and I was like why is there a bun in the oven or I said something like that 
it took him a while, but he finally got in. So he was very excited too. So we're pumped about it. Um, I already know how I want to tell my mom and my siblings and social media and Anthony's parents as well. So I have that all planned. Uh, I ordered uh, something to um, tell everyone. I'll let you guys know later what it is, but I'm very excited about all of this. But yeah, not much to talk about this week just because like it's new and I haven't even gone to the doctor yet. So I, um, right now my due date is September 9th, but I am 90% sure it's going to change when I go to the doctor because that's what happened last time. My due date was April 1st and they changed it to April 4th and then I didn't end up getting giving birth until April 11th a week later. So obviously these due dates are kind of like not permanent, not a set, set in stone, but um, as of right now, September 9th is my due date. It is Anthony's dad's birthday. And also, I read online that September 9th is the uh, day with the most birthdays on it. Kind of interesting. So, yeah, around that time, early September is when the baby is due. And we're very excited for it. I've told Grayson about the baby, but he doesn't really understand. I do once a day to ask him, like, where is the baby? And then he's, like, looking around and I'm, like, pointing to my stomach, like, it's in my tummy, it's in my belly. And he'll point to it. He doesn't understand. I mean, he's 20 months old, so I totally get it. But hopefully, I mean, eventually he'll figure it out because the baby will be here. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's kind of it for week five. Not too much, just nausea mostly um so we'll see if it gets worse or just stays the same i have a feeling it's gonna get worse but i think that's all for this bump date thanks for tuning in and make sure you subscribe to this channel because i'm gonna do a bump date every week and it's just gonna get more exciting so i'm very excited for baby number two and i can't wait for it to be september bye guys